radius of the circle. Did we answer that as I mean, we did we, the problem, Kelsey? Yeah, Kelsey, did we give you a good enough answer, or are we, uh, you know, is there something that you need to, do we need to clarify about that? And while we're letting the chats come in, we'll go on to this next question here. Okay, one positive number is four times another positive number. The sum of the two numbers is 620. Find the two numbers. Ooh. Okay, Jane, do you need to start this one or do you want to start it? I. Uh... You can start it. I am fine starting it too. I don't care. Dude, should we race on this one? And we'll both talk over each other explaining what we're doing? Yeah, and then <laughs> people will be like, what are they even talking about? I think yep. that's a great idea. Should we just do it? Yeah, we should just do it. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> ready? Here we go. <laughs> one positive number is four times another positive number. So one positive, and that's going to be a plus sign, and we're going to call it x, is four <laughs> times. So that's going to be 4x. Um, Jaden, you're not talking, dude. you got to talk. Another oh, positive. so <laughs> one number is four times the other, other number. Time is, I'm going to combine like terms the right now the because they both have x, and I'm going to write that equal to so 620. So we say x is the number. I'm going to divide one, by yep. Five. And so we got five x uh, and equals I believe 620. that means x equals so divide by five, divide by five, 124 and then four times that value would be four, four times 120 four uh 80 no four ninety six four ninety six i beat you i beat you yeah you I'm did beat you there that question is solved. Okay, now let's go, let's go through that a little slower <laughs> and actually make sense. <laughs> okay, um, so we have a positive number, which I'm going to call x, okay? So okay. Um, x is going to be our positive number, okay? And it's going to be four right. times... Um, well, so I'm saying the second number is equal to x. So I'm going to say x is one number, and I'm going to say y is the number. Uh, How yeah. is asking, do we divide by 4 and not 5? And so we're going to explain why we divided by 5 and not 4. Um, so we're going to say x and y are two different numbers that we have. And we're going to say y is equal to 4 times x. So we have x plus y, right, is equal to 620. And then from there, we do x plus 4x, because y is equal to 4 times x equals 620. And then, Jaden, do you want to take it from here? Yeah, uh, then we can combine like terms on the left-hand side of the equal sign. Like terms are... The like terms that share the same variable or they don't have any variables at all, right? In this case, both of these have X. So those are like terms um, and none of the X's are squared. So we know we can combine those. Uh, and this is considered a one X. So one X plus four X gives us five X equals 620. And now this is just a one-step equation where we have to solve for x. By doing that, we do inverse operations, five times x. Inverse operation would be divide by five. Those just cancel each other. Anything divided by itself is one. And we divide by five over here. We get x equals the 124. Um, Jaden, can and you do then, that number, that division in your head without a calculator, dude? You're so smart. Dude, I did do that in my head. Did you? Or did yeah. you copy my answer, dude? <laughs> dude, I did a little bit of both. <laughs> I was like, I was, I, was then, going, I was like, yeah, I think that works. Yep, that, that's good for me. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that seems about right. Um, and then to solve for y, right? We know y equals four x. So we just have y equals four times 124 and that equals our 400. That looks like a Z, I'm sorry. 496. That's a equal sign. Cool. All right. Okay, so, so we have our X and our Y. Do that equation. Is and solved. I keep pushing this button to me. I like it. Solved. Nice. Uh, and to check your answer, all you have to do is do X plus Y, 124 plus 496. That in fact does equal 620. If I can do that math right. So I think I think we did that question 